Hi, my name is Nikolai Buk Jensen, and I have been assigned the task to make a red eye removal system in Open Framework C. First of all, we have the image that we want to alter, which is this one. It has been found on Google, and right now it is stored in the folder where I also keep the source code. Let's go to Visual Studio. The image has been measured to be 720 times 542, and I have twice up the size for the frame to be able to to display both the original and the altered version like this as you can see it is clearly not altered right now this is supposed to be the altered version but I will get to that alright now we have the test app that H which calls two images one for the altered and one for the original Let's go to test app.cpp. Here we take the new image and load the image from the folder into it. Then we have the my image which we set to be equal to new image so that we can alter my image without changing the new image. Now we can call the new image which is the original and we can call the my image which is right here which is the altered version so that they stand next to each other. To alter the altered version, we uh, I have a for loop, a uh, two for loops, pretty much scanning through the whole image, pixel for pixel, line for line. And for each and every pixel there is, I call an if statement. This if statement pretty much says that if the red channel, if the value of the red channel is higher than the value of the green and blue channel combined it shall run the if statement and I have two types of uh, code an easy solution which is this one which pretty much takes the red red uh, pixels and replace them with black pixels no lighting taken into account no gradient no nothing it looks like this And now we wait. Here it is. All right. Here we have it. Um, there is still a little light source in the circle of the eye, um, the pupil, which I actually think gives it a little sparkle. However, there is a red outline outside the the white dot in the middle, which I think is a little annoying. But it's pretty difficult to remove, so I have let it be. Um, all right, we can also change the color, which I will not show, by simply writing a value in green or blue or red, for that matter, to uh, between a value between zero and two hundred and fifty-five. Now we uh, have a look at the advanced color coloring which is this one alright here I take lighting into account I make a gradient in the pupil I simply make an integer called pupil color which I which is equal to the average of all the color channels then I take the this integer this new integer and simply replace it in where there was formerly zeros with pupil color with this integer what it does here is that it it sort of gives the same value for each um, each uh, color channel, which makes it a grayscale, and it uh, takes the lighting into account. It looks like this. Now we wait again. All right, here. It looks like this. It's a little light still, so I will make a quick change. I will intensify the darkness by simply writing 9 instead. Let's have a look at it. Alright, that's a pretty satisfying result, I think. Uh, it takes lighting into account, it has a little gradient, and I like that. Alright, 
Uh, you can also change the color by simply multiplying or dividing these uh, pupil color values. Uh, I will not show that, but uh, taking in, take it into account that they already have a value, so don't don't multiply it with 255, for instance. Take some small numbers and multiply it with that. All right. Lastly, uh, we have uh, we have to update it. That is necessary for actually making the changes. Um, this simply updates uh, all the changes we have made to the image, and uh, for the for the draw, for the final drawing. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you for listening, and have a nice day.